country view this is your wildcat welcome for thursday october 31st and a happy birthday to arthur s in fourth grade and austin w in second grade oh happy, happy birthday. birthday on a think think thinking thursday are you ready for a guess who i'm ready to try to guess who okay my favorite food is sub sandwiches a hobby i enjoy is baking an interesting fact about me is I do not like bugs. I have worked at Country View for three years. Who am I? I knew it. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Well, this person does a lot of things for our school, so I we appreciate know. this. I love these guess who days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> I kind of like popping into classrooms and seeing if you guess it. Yeah. Yalla. <laughs> uh, most important time of our announcements mm -hmm. outside of Guess Who? Yeah. Freedom to read. Mm hmm Yep. Let's check out this day today. Okay. Good morning. Miss Stengel here with our last book in our feature of books that we have the freedom to read. But these books are available all year, and we can have the freedom to read at any time. Today we'll be looking at the book A Costume for Charlie, written by C.K. Malone and illustrated by Alejandra Barajes. It is available in the LMC. It's time for Charlie to pick out their Halloween costume, but Halloween is always a little tricky for Charlie because none of the costumes they find represent their whole identity, showing they're both a boy and a girl. Charlie thinks outside the box to find a Halloween costume that represents their gender identity perfectly. We have the freedom to read about characters with fluid gender identity. That means a person feels like both a boy and a girl, and like Charlie, somewhere in between. Another amazing book that you can check out for yourself in the library. Highlight, I just love yeah. this, this mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah. Well, scholars, I miss being. And I miss rush hour. Make it a thinking Thursday. And we'll see you at our next Wildcat Welcome.